namaste welcome back to grow with the jam family uh today some news has come in a couple days ago about some pro-palestinian protesters attacking people um spitting on people that were eating dinner out and some other videos that have come up this is one of those things like we know there was a lot of conflict going on over there in israel and yeah. palestine um we know there was a lot of tension and I, I'm, we're glad that there's been a ceasefire and hopefully things will get worked out. Sad to see that, you know, 300 people have died. But when you're here in the U.S., and this happened in New York City, when you're here and you don't agree with what's going on in the outside world and you want maybe the White House or people here to support Palestine or support Israel, you go about it in a peaceful manner. You spread your voice, freedom of speech. You go out and protest, but peacefully. Peacefully. For some reason, lately, it seems like protesting is violent, rioting, damaging buildings, like hurting yeah. people. And that's not the whole point of freedom of speech. You don't agree with what's going on. You want you know, the White House to do something about it, or you want your voice to be heard go and protest but peacefully people eating dinner are not in the government in israel or in right. palestine they're not in charge of what's going on over there that's the thing is they're here they are americans now mm -hmm. they're not there so when you come here as a palestinian or whoever you are you don't go about them in a way because of what they are because they're a jew or whatever you don't like china for example we're not going against chinese people here because they are american it's not right. their fault that the chinese communist party is like that they're here for a reason and if they are really american and not going against other people that is you shouldn't be going against them you shouldn't be rioting against them or spitting on or beating old diners. ladies up. I've seen yeah. a few of those. Yeah. You're right. Like, the people here in the U.S., no matter what country you came from, no matter what color you are, no matter what religion you are, you have all the same rights, and we should treat each other like brothers. I know there's been a lot of protest, not just for this. Um, you know, there's been the Black Lives Matter protest. There's been the anti-Asian protest. There's a lot of pro protesting... And sharing your voice is a good thing, but when it becomes violent or when people think they can take it amongst themselves and, and punch or kick or spit on somebody because they are the opposite of what you think is your belief, that's when it crosses the line. Yeah. People here, we're all Americans here. We're all brothers here. And, you know, let the government find out if they're doing something wrong like that's not really your job you have a voice you can do it on youtube you can write letters to the government you can go out and protest peacefully but this kind of stuff it's very upsetting because everybody here needs to treat each other with respect and and we all have the same rights like you said no matter what country you came from you came here for a better life and now you're american yep you know not doesn't matter color or anything so um we're gonna watch a couple little clips from it um just to give you an idea of what they've been saying in the news or some of the news has been saying i should say because not everybody speaks out about this yeah unless it fits to their political agenda mm -hmm. they're investigating a possible hate crime at that restaurant on tuesday after witnesses say some pro-Palestinian protesters began attacking diners, including a group of Jewish men throwing punches and bottles and other objects at them. The dramatic confrontation caught on the cell phone camera. Watch. And 
And in a separate incident in Los Angeles again on Monday, caught on security camera this time, a caravan of two vehicles waving Palestinian flags chasing an Orthodox Jewish man in a parking lot. He escaped unharmed. Incidents like these are fanning across Europe as well. Just last week in London, four people reportedly were arrested after pro-Palestinian caravan of cars you see here broadcast anti-Semitic slogans and threats. Yeah. People don't need to be violent to get no. their point across. And yeah. So then there's this other clip. And you can see somebody's trying to protect him, and a bunch of people are just coming and kicking this guy. Yeah. And they're saying, in the footage was captured, um, and that he was a Jewish man beaten by a Palestinian mob that was like protesting. That's um, crazy. There's just no need for that. Like, right. And then this other one here. So this is the protest going on behind, and they're spitting, using some foul language. This is hate right here. These people that are eating dinner have nothing to do with what's going on across the country. No. That's not the way to go about getting your views across mm -hmm. and like she said I would like to see more coverage you know not this get swept under the table because they're Jewish yeah and I think that's what happens is that some of these groups that don't speak out you know that don't get the views you know that some of the other groups that Ilhan Omar maybe or some of these Democrats really push to get their votes in you know we want we don't want any of this to happen but there should be some equal coverage like you can't just you know oh because they're jewish and they don't fit your agenda or because they're not popular around people you're not going to put right. it in the news right you can't say like oh you know their their community tends to do well so they're not they're not really the oppressed you know people we have to like spray it across the news when it's the oppressed groups or the but they're not speaking up is the thing they're not right. complaining yeah complaining as some muslims and other people do so they're not getting their point across of that they need help right and they need this to spread like they need this to be in the news so people stop doing this to them like we said everybody here in, is an American first and foremost before anything else comes, before your color, before your ethnicity, before your religion. If you're here, you're here for a reason. You're here for a better life. You're here because you love the democracy. You're here because you like it to freedom of speech. And if you don't love it here, well, there's pack your bags and find a country that you do love because you're not helping anyone being grumpy, being here, or, you know, not getting what you think is right but you can't go around violently attacking spitting on punching people because you think they fit this bill and a lot of this anti acts that I've seen recently and especially um, with different groups people assume that if you look a certain way that you're Chinese but some of the people that have been attacked have been Japanese or Korean right because they just assume when they look at them, daddy gets taken for different people, terrorist groups, more than once because of how he looks. When he goes and travels, he makes sure he shaves and like has all his paperwork lined up so yeah. they don't like double question him, but they do anyways. You know, it's the same, I think, in India. Like, I think the Hindus get the short end of the stick because there's a lot of, um, they don't speak up. And these groups that don't say, well, poor me, or what was me, or the political leaders don't feel like they have, that they can pull that weight and get their votes, they just don't use that in the media. Right. So we'd like all of this to stop, the hate to stop. We would like people to get along.
be treated equal no matter what you look like. Right. And what religion? What religion you are, what nationality you are, the country that you live in. If you don't love it, find a country that you do love and and that where you live, make sure that's the place you love and want to support. You don't have to support every policy. You don't have to support. We did not vote for President Biden, but he is our president now, and we want him to be successful while he's there so that we are successful as a country as a whole. We all have to stand behind each other. And you may not agree, so this is when you protest. This is when you write letters, like we've written letters to Biden saying, please send those AstraZeneca vaccines to India. They need them more than we do sitting in them in a closet. Like, we don't make it violent. Exactly. Like, peacefully protest. Like you said, write letters or go out with signs or... Start a YouTube channel and right. ranch your crap. Sorry. Or rant whatever you believe. You believe one way, that's fine. You, people will tell you that they agree with you or they don't agree with you, but that's that's the right we have here. We're not against the Chinese people. We are against what the CCP has done to the world right now. We, you know, we are siding with Israel and the Jews because we feel like we feel their pain, mm -hmm. and nobody else seems to feel their pain for political gain reasons. You know. That's our opinion. If you don't like it, that's okay. You don't have to watch our channel. Or you can tell us in the comments that you disagree and why you disagree. That is the whole part of being in a democracy and freedom, freedom of speech. speech. Not freedom to beat people up. Not freedom yeah. to spit on them while they're trying to eat their food. Not freedom to, like, you know, shoot people. This is your freedom to say how you feel. And people can agree or disagree with you, and that's okay. But it shouldn't yeah. be violent. It should yeah. never be violent. Um, so we hope this stops, and um, and that people can just get along. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. But I, I am glad that that um, you know the ceasefire went down, and hopefully um, some nice talks will go on, and things will um, get better. But anyways, it shouldn't be happening here so all right um well we'll keep you updated on some more news when we get some right yeah and hopefully we'll see you again soon bye